All right, guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking the time to spend a little time with me. I always appreciate that. Got some week nine action here against the Broncos. And truth be told, guys, I haven't done these videos as regularly. It's just been a lot tougher, man, trying to, you know, stay locked in with Madden, you know, with the lack of depth in CFM. Hopefully we can get that improved in Madden 19. But we're going to try, man. So here we are, guys, facing the Broncos here. The Broncos are going to get the ball first. Simeon is going to lead his troops against the Pittsburgh Steelers here. Let's see what's going to happen. First down, he's going to hand it off to C.J. Anderson. Picks up three yards. They're going to go right back to the running back here. Ooh, tries to make a spin, but spins in two. Ryan Shazier, third and eight. And Simeon forces it downfield, and Artie Burns is able to get the interception. And that is not the way you want to start on the road if you're the Denver Broncos. Wow. Turn over the ball in your own territory. Here come Big Ben and the Pittsburgh Steelers. They're going to hand it off to Le'Veon Bell. Gets nothing on the first down. Second and 10. Ben is going to drop back. He's going to find Jesse James deep downfield, abusing the man coverage. Then they're going to run the ball here again with Le'Veon Bell. Short again. Second and 10. Ben is going to drop back, and he's able to find Martavis Bryant down to the 11. Third and one, they're going to hand it off to Le'Veon Bell and gets just enough. First and 10, and they're going to run the ball here from the nine. Picks up four. Roethlisberger trying to pump fake there with the shoulders, gets sacked. And once again, another sack on third and goal. That's going to end the Pittsburgh Steelers drive. They're only able to come up with three. All right, so let's see what's going to happen here on the second possession for the Denver Broncos. Simeon is able to find Darby down the field, taking advantage of the Steelers' man coverage there. And here go the Steelers. Oh, great, great, great catch there. Steelers were in a good zone, but the tight end dives around it. And oh, look at this, guys. Artie Burns once again coming up with the interception. Can he get the edge? No, he can't. But once again, guys, two interceptions by Artie Burns early, early in the first quarter. That can't be good for the Denver Broncos. So here come the Pittsburgh Steelers. Le'Veon Bell had a lane there, took the wrong hole. Second and nine. And he's going to find Martavis Bryant taking advantage of Akeem Tlaib. No longer has the speed. Wow, to cover Martavis Bryant. And just like that, they are into the end zone, guys. Keep an eye on that matchup. Martavis Bryant against Akeem Tlaib. Keep an eye on that guy. So here goes the Denver Broncos. And oh, Ryan Shazier almost gets a sack, but Simeon is able to get away and check it down there to CJ Anderson for a nice gain. And look at this. Oh, once again, man, coverage getting abused. Man, coverage is having a tough time in this ball game. Demarius Thomas. Able to get the deep touchdown there. And look at Martavis Bryant early. Two targets, two receptions, 69 yards and one touchdown. We're going to keep an eye on that. Play action fake. Big Ben Roethlisberger tries to go to Jake McGee right there. Nothing happens. They're going to pitch it out to, Mart uh, to uh, Le'Veon Bell, actually. Le'Veon Bell is downfield. Oh, look at the stiff arm on Akeem to leave. And it is a touchdown, guys. And wait, wait a minute. There's laundry. Oh, guys. Block in the back by Vance McDonald is going to erase the Le'Veon Bell touchdown. But here goes James Conner out of the backfield. Quick swing pass there. They're going to hand it off to Conner again. Running hard, but he only gets one yard there. Second and nine. They're going to go with the screenplay to Bell. And Bell is able to pick up two yards there. Well, seven yards to get it to a third and two. And James Conner actually picks up the two there. And oh, Big Roethlisberger almost throws an interception. Second and ten. Quick pass right there. Third and ten. And Ben is able to find Martavis Bryant once again, folks. Akeem Tlaib is getting roasted out there. Wow. You would think that it would be Antonio Brown that would be lighting things up. But no, Ben Roethlisberger is taking advantage of the size matchup and the speed matchup with Martavis Bryant. It would be great if those things really, really made a difference, man. That's another thing I would like to see, guys, as we look at the halftime here or take a break. I'd like to see Madden 19 respect more size and weight and mass and things like that so a big receiver really does have an actual advantage over someone who's a little smaller, even though a team, you know, a keep to leave is not small, but you guys know what I'm saying. 
And here we are, guys. Pittsburgh Steelers get the ball after the half. They're in a quick third and five right here. As Roethlisberger is able to find Martavis. Bryant hangs on. And they're going to run the draw pass, uh, draw play here to Le'Veon Bell. Nothing doing. Second and 11. Roethlisberger drops back, and he is able to find woo, Jesse James with the nice headsy play to get down out of harm's way. Great catch there. And they go, oh, nice run by Le'Veon Bell. The juke move or the change of direction. And here we are. Look at the blocking, guys. James Conner able to skirt in from 23 yards out. Outstanding blocking downfield. And the Steelers are going to go up 24 to 7. Midpoint of the third quarter. What's Simeon doing? He takes off. He's going to pick up six yards. And they're going to run the ball here to C.J. Anderson. Nice pick up there. First and 10. Here he is, Simeon again. Checking down to Darby. Oh, nice move there. And they're doing some good things on this drive. Look at this, man. C.J. Anderson is making some noise. Second and one. They're unable to come up with the catch there, but they draw. Javon Hargrave offsides, guys, on a third and one to keep the downs going. Look at this. C.J. Anderson doing big things here. Down to the eight-yard line, and the Denver Broncos need to get into the end zone here, but can they? Javon Hargrave is having something to say about that nice sack as he works through the triple team, it looks like there. Second and goal from the 12. Simeon has all day in the pocket. Dumps it down to the seven-yard line. Third and goal. Oh, my goodness. Artie Burns. Or oh, was that Joe Hayden? One of those guys tried to go for the pick. And look at Ryan Shazier. And Sean Davis unable to come up with the touch. I mean, they uh, tackle there to avoid the touchdown. And Shazier is really thinking about it. Look at him. He's telling Le'Veon Bell, I don't know what happened, man. I, I went to him. I got there. And I don't know. So just like that, man, the Broncos are back in the game. 10-point game, 24-14 to 14 as we start the fourth quarter here. Le'Veon Bell able to get a nice run there on second and three to get the first down. They're going to go back to Bell. Second and 10, guys. Le'Veon Bell is able to get through a little bit. Picks up seven yards. Third and three here. And Roethlisberger is able to find Juju Smith-Schuster for the first down, but there's a flag. What is the flag on, guys? Haven't seen Smith-Schuster all game. Oh, personal fa oh, face mask on the defense. So the drive will stay alive. And we haven't seen Smith-Schuster that often, man. So good thing that, you know, he shows up there to get the first down. Nice catch. And here goes Le'Veon Bell on a second and 13. Gets it to third and five. And Ben Roethlisberger, guys, you knew it was coming at some point. Tries to get Antonio Brown involved. Makes the wrong decision. And he's picked off, guys. And that could have been the drive that could have sealed the game for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Let's just see how everything is going to end up here. Let's take a look. Third and nine. Trevor Simeon is, oh, he gets sacked, but Bud Dupree, I believe he gets a hold of the face mask, guys. It looked like that. We're going to have to take a look and see. Yes, Bud Dupree gets a great sack there, but hands into the face, grabs the face mask, guys, and that's going to keep the drive alive. First and 10, Simeon again has all day. Nice comeback route. There's another flag on the play. Let's see who this is on. Coach Tomlin is wondering. Personal foul again. Roughing the passer. Okay, the defense needs to settle down, guys. Ryan Shazier is called for that one. Need to settle down and close this thing out. First and 10 from the 49. Simeon checks it down, picks up two yards there. Second and eight. And they're going to run the draw play here. Not that successful. Only get two yards there. And a third and six. 255 left in the quarter. Oh, big hit, guys, but he's able to hang on. First and 10 from the 38-yard line. Simeon drops back once again. Goes all the way across field and able to pick up six yards. Here he is, guys, from the empty set. And he finds Sanders, the ex-Pittsburgh Steeler, cutting across the middle there. Now, after a holding penalty, guys, it gets him into a first and 20 here. Two minutes and 10 seconds left on the clock. Let's see what's going to happen here. And the Pittsburgh Steelers are caught in man coverage, guys. And they're going to try to run man coverage again here. And it does not work. Demarius Thomas able to beat his guy inside. And Mike Hilton unable to tackle the big body Thomas as he rolls into the end zone. But on second and 26, guys, when they need a big play from Le'Veon Bell, they're able to get it. 
to close out the game. And that's how the cookie will crumble, guys. Pittsburgh Steelers will win the ball game 24 to 21. A bit of a dogfight, man, because, you know, the Denver Broncos coming in 0 and 7, trying, trying to stay alive, man. But, you know, their season is pretty much over. But, hey, it's a dogfight in the NFL, guys, every week. So the Steelers are able to edge them out to improve to 5 and 3. All right, so that's going to do it, guys, for this particular episode, man. And like I said, I'm going to try to keep it going if I can, man. It's just, you know, playing some other franchise modes. And y'all, you guys know how that is, man. Just a little more depth, keeping my attention a little more. MLB 18 is about to drop, so we'll see. All right, but as long as you guys are viewing, I'll do it. And that'll take care of this one, guys. Make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and cut on your notifications. And we'll catch you in the next one.